having a fresh cup of coffee this morning, and I hope you're getting your, your day started off great. Praise the Lord. Today's the day the Lord has made. He said, let's rejoice and be glad therein. Are you serious? I am. And apparently, Iran is starting to saber rattle as the pressure's building as they want to annihilate Jerusalem. Well, grab a Bible, because I'm going to read about three verses out of the book of St. Luke, chapter 21, in a moment. But first, let me tell you what's going on. Iran has responded to Lieberman's, we will destroy Tel Aviv, they say, in 10 minutes. This is what Iran is saying. We will destroy Tel Aviv in 10 minutes. Uh, a senior figure in the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, uh, Majibi Du Al Nur, threatened yesterday on the Sabbath that Iran will destroy Tel Aviv in 10 minutes if Israel makes a mistake and strikes the Islamic regime's nuclear facilities. Iran is starting to sweat bullets that Benjamin and Yahoo, you see, there are some in the West who want to remove Benjamin and Yahoo from power. They don't want him to be the prime minister of Israel anymore because he stands up for Israel. He defends the borders. He's defending the nation and the nation state of Israel, which actually he's defending the covenant of God. Now, there are some who want him removed in the Knesset, right there in Israel, right in Jerusalem. And there are some in the United States federal government uh, that in Congress uh, who also, and the White House actually, who would like to see him gone. The election's coming up for Netanyahu on May, on March 17th, March 17th. But Benjamin Netanyahu is coming to America to, to address the American people and a joint session of Congress to let them know just how important it is that there not be Iranians with the capability of enriched uranium, weapon grade, and nuclear capabilities. So, having said that, uh, one of the leaders of the Revolutionary Guard is saying, we could destroy Tel Aviv in 10 minutes. And if you make a, or if, if Israel tries a preemptive strike, we will bomb Tel Aviv. Folks, if you get a copy of my book, and, and uh, Jerusalem Jihad, uh, I had a dream when I was in Jerusalem in May of 2013. I woke up. It was the morning of uh, Pentecost, the Feast of Pentecost, and it was it was Pentecost Sunday, actually. And I, I woke up from this dream so disturbed. It was so vivid in which the Lord showed me, I believe, a dream. Doesn't mean it will happen, but I believe it was a warning and it was what we need to pray about. I really believe it was a dream of a warning that we need to pray about. I seen bombs striking uh, Haifa, Tel Aviv, and Jerusalem, and they were coming from Iranian planes. Now, it doesn't have to be planes. It could be missiles. But in the dream, it was Iranian planes. Uh, and I, I, a matter of fact, I was so disturbed by this. And and detailed, the dream was so detailed, something I rarely have, I mean, rarely, rarely have. I went down to the Wailing Wall that morning and actually did a YouTube video and tell the dream. At the, I went down and prayed at the Wailing Wall, for the, I prayed for the peace of Jerusalem, I prayed for, uh, you know, for the nation of Israel, and then the Lord said, go ahead and share the dream, and right there at the Wailing Wall, I do. You need to go watch it, it's on YouTube. Uh, but also, I'll put the link of it in the description. But also, when I sat down and began writing my book, Jerusalem Jihad, the Lord, uh, I felt, led me to take the, the, that dream, overlay it with current world events, how they relate to Bible prophecy, and create an end-time apocalyptic scenario of the last days. It is a, I have to say, I mean, it is really an eye-opening book, and it may really help you because... So when I read this headline today, I begin to realize the very thing I see in the dream is being threatened right now by the Iranians and what they say they can do. Now, if you grab a Bible quickly, I want to show you three verses where Jesus said these words. Jesus said in Luke chapter 21, verse 20, he says, and when you shall see Jerusalem 
compassed with armies. Then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Let's read it again. This is Luke 21, 20. And when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. And let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days, for there shall be great distress in the land. Look at what's going on today. And wrath upon the people. And this is not the wrath of God we're talking about. We're talking about the wrath of the devil himself. And ISIS is certainly carrying that out. And they're not the only group. All right? And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Look at the next verse. There shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth the stress of nations with perplexity, and the sea and the waves roaring, and men's hearts failing them for fear of things coming, for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud of power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. I may actually preach on some of this this morning at my live church service at my home church at Community Gospel Baptist Church. I really feel led to several apocalyptic end time signs, things that are happening. And uh, that will bro we'll broadcast that service live starting at 12 noon Eastern today. So you might want to tune in and be a part of that worship service at my website, www.paulbakeleyprophecy.com. Also tonight, Sunday night live, I will reveal some prophetic signs and things that are taking place that are so disturbing. I'm not going to even do it on YouTube because uh, I feel like I need to just share it with you live, and that will be in tonight's Sunday Night Live broadcast at 7 p.m. Eastern at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com right here from our studios in Indiana. God bless you. We love you. Keep looking up, for your redemption draweth nigh. And if you're not saved, it's time to give your life to Jesus Christ. Please, time is running out.